Hi, Dr. Sassy here at the Continence Center at Sassy Surgical in Nevada. Um, a patient recently asked me, what is the long-term expectation for sacral neuromodulation to resolve bladder and bowel incontinence? Um, this particular patient had just had her sacral neuromodulation system implantation, um, and for her it was about a 25-minute procedure. Uh, it was done under local anesthetic. She got a little bit of light sedation with it. Um, we use x-ray guidance, so it's done in a surgery uh, environment, an outpatient surgery center most commonly, or it could be in any operating room. Um, and uh, as you may know, if you've investigated this treatment, it's um, been very well studied in a number of FDA trials. Uh, it's been around for nearly 20 years as an FDA approved uh, device, and it's a very non-invasive treatment that um, is far less invasive than surgery, meaning a bladder sling or some sort of other surgical intervention where there's um, you know, something implanted in the body uh, or surgery to lift up organs and so forth. Um, so done under local, um, with x-ray guidance, uh, usually it's a, a little bit of skin pokes and what's happened over time is that the devices, which used to be quite large, have really been miniaturized down to a, a small little thing that's about the size of a kind of a small domino or maybe a USB drive that's perhaps just a little larger than a, a real small USB drive. And uh, that's what slipped under the skin and that stays there. So, so what happens long term? Well, the pretty nifty thing that happens is that because of this very sophisticated kind of space age technology that goes into the manufacture of the devices nowadays, the battery life is uh, guaranteed to be more than 15 years, uh, but there's really no kind of expectation that it's gonna run out in 15 years. So uh, we think that it will last uh, well beyond that, you know, 20, 25 years, time will tell. Um, it does require charging a little bit, and that by a little bit, I mean it doesn't require daily charging, it doesn't even require weekly charging. But usually once every two to three or four weeks, uh, one has to put this little charging paddle uh, right up next to the skin where the device is and just keep it on there charging for often may just be 30 minutes, um, something like that. Um, I have a lot of patients who do that every other week for 30 minutes when they watch uh, you know, their favorite show on television. Um, and that is what guarantees this ultra long um, battery life and we think the um, the success at resolving the bowel and bladder leakage, uh, which is proven to be 90% and above, we think that's durable. So um, we think that, first of all, because there are multi-year studies which do show that. And then I also have a lot of anecdotal experience from patients who've had devices in for more than that time who also report that they are working years later. Um, but with the refinements and the improved engineering and now this so-called constant current which is being applied, that is a little bit of a physics jargon which describes that instead of using constant power, that the system itself adjusts and modulates to the tissues so that over time it's delivering constant current. And that's believed to be the real uh, endpoint solution to uh, tickling the nerves and causing the muscle stimulation to be just at the right level over time and maintain the durability over time. Um, so when people ask today, you know, gosh, I've had this you know, bladder leakage or overactive bladder um, or bowel leakage um, for such a long time and nothing has really worked. You know, the medications are usually uh, not successful. Uh, exercise therapies, while we like them and we you know, try to incorporate them, they rarely reverse the problem completely. Um, and surgery often failed before people came to see me uh, or they just would prefer not to have an invasive surgery uh, or an invasive surgery again. Um, but the question about long-term effectiveness of neuromodulation, um, I think we can say with a high degree of probability that uh, the little device, the little very minimally invasive procedure to place it is going to set the stage for long-term relief from bowel and bladder leakage. And um, I think the evidence is quite strong that that will be the case. Um, I think it's also worth noting that it is such a non-invasive uh, procedure that, you know, if that proved not to be true, um, it's a pretty small matter for us to change out a device, you know, 15 or 20 minutes to exchange a battery from the old kinds of batteries that didn't last as long, uh, et cetera. So if you or someone you love is battling with overactive bladder or wearing pads or depends or diapers or having bowel or bladder uh, leakage or overactive bladder, getting you up at night, in the middle of the night, those are real impacts on quality of life that you do not have to keep putting up with. 
the treatments today are excellent and very underutilized. Uh, and you can expect that this FDA approved insurance covered neuromodulation treatment uh, can be done very non-invasively and you can have the expectation that it's going to be very, very durable for many, many years. I hope that information has been helpful to you and I hope that you or your loved one can seek proper treatment for bladder incontinence, overactive bladder, or bowel incontinence. I wish you the best.